welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. Joyce Rapp first this morning. Hopefully everything's calmed down for everyone. <laughs> yes, Teresa, Joyce beat you this morning. Hopefully everything's calmed down from fireworks. I heard a few last night, nothing bad. Definitely better. Remember, you can and sorry, I'm a little late this morning. At her website at she woke up late. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alrighty. So, I didn't have anything to talk about this morning, and I was... Uh, I was uh, <laughs> One of the reasons I was late, I was tooling around Facebook going, okay, what's everybody talking about today? Uh, and then I came in to clean the cat box, and uh, it dawned on me, hey, we need to talk about kitty boxes. Because, and our, our guys are carrying on because he's working on their breakfast right now. So you're getting the real barking. That's the same barking that is in the music, <laughs> except that that's live. And the cats haven't been fed yet, so they're milling around. It's fun morning. Anyway, um, so in our new house... For those of you who are following our Facebook page, Fine and Dandy Acres, which is the farm and the new house and the rescue animals and everything, um, if you if you haven't looked at it, you might want to go check out Fine and Dandy Acres. We're uh, showing you the process of getting a house built from the ground up, which is a long, arduous process, and it's amazing how many little detail things you have to pick out. Um, but one of the things that we're doing is building um, a kitty area, a cat condo um, and playground area in our huge laundry room, which also doubles as our dog grooming area. So we have a dog washing uh, area that we put in. Um, and so the laundry room, it's kind of our multi-purpose room. It's where you drop all your dirty, muddy clothes from the barn um, and your barn boots get to stay there. And then we have our laundry. We have the dog wash and dog feeding area with their own refrigerator and microwave and everything for the dogs. And then we put in this cat area. And part of the reason I did it is that I am really sick of kitty litter tracking throughout the house. The house that we're in right now, the cat's... The room that I'm in is actually the third bedroom and it, it was supposed to be the cat room and then I moved in with all of my stuff because it was too crowded and noisy in the living room for me to be able to do these things. Um, so uh, this is the cat room. So I've got two litter boxes sitting right here next to me. The trash can for you know cleaning the litter boxes. I've got cat food on a little placemat over you know a little further they've got a cat tree um so this was supposed to be the kitty room and you know we felt bad at the beginning so we put a gate across so the dogs can't come in and clean out the cat food and the cat litter and the cats jump in and out over the gate so um the the cats we couldn't just leave them locked in the room we did for the first week or so just to make sure they couldn't escape the house if a door opened um but we have two litter boxes, and every time I clean those boxes, I gotta tell you, one is for poop, one is for pee. They don't commingle what they do. There's three cats, two boxes, but they all poop in one and pee in the other. And so on our new kitty condo playground area, there's eight doors that open. And I was going to use one of the doors, the little box in that area. One's going to be the feeding station. And then I was going to have one that was the litter box area. And then they have holes in the tops of the boxes where they can climb from one to the next and kind of zigzag back and forth. And then they have a, a big shelf area around the top. It's going to have a, uh, 
a suspension bridge and different shelves to lay on, just kind of cool stuff. No, we don't have lids on our litter boxes because uh, our dogs are small and they would just go in them. So yeah, the, the dogs love kitty poop snacks and I don't love dogs having kitty poop snacks. So the new cat condo, I was going to have one litter box. Well, you know, I'm cleaning the boxes this morning going, well, they poop in one and pee in the other. And if I only give them one box and they do whatever in it, then they're not going to know what to do with the other if they don't have a second box. So now we're going to have two boxes, uh, which, um, oh, you have a litter robot. Does that scare the cats at all? I've, I've, I've read some horror stories where it turns on when the cat's there. And uh, Anyway, um, so uh, we're going to have to designate at least two boxes there with kitty litter boxes in them. But the nice thing about it is that um, there will be so much less tracking because they use the box and then they're going to walk across like a, a soft plastic grass type mat. So that'll take a lot of the, the litter off of their feet. So by the time they come back out the little, there's a cat face, I'll post pictures, there's a little cat face hole that they have to go in and out to get into their jungle gym. Um, and uh, by that point, hopefully most of the litter will be off their feet. So um, one of the things you have to consider is how many boxes do you need? Where are those boxes placed? Are they placed in an area where the cats can get to them easily? Um, and I think one of the reasons we got the cat pee, for, first of all, the cats were mad that nobody was here to play with them or do anything with them. Uh, I have seen cats trained to use the toilet, but I have not tried to do that with any of our cats. Um, I don't want their dirty cat feet on my toilet anyway. Um, but uh, one of the reasons I think that they were so bad when we were gone, besides the fact that they were psychologically not very happy, is that their boxes were getting cleaned once a day. And I'm a fanatic. Like if I hear a cat come in here, I instantly clean it. But guaranteed, those boxes get cleaned twice a day. And cats are really pretty fastidious. It's interesting. We finally caught sight of one of the barn cats. Well, Hugh caught sight of one of the barn cats yesterday. Um, but they are using their boxes twice and getting them clean twice a day, every day. And interestingly, the cats at the barn poop in one box, pee in the other box. See, you don't think about this. But if you are really fastidious about cleaning your boxes, you will notice what's going on in there. And um, our barn kitties are the same way. Now, there's three boxes at the barn. Uh, the one in the feed room, they don't use very much. They use the two out in the main part of the barn. But there's poop in one and pee in the other. So it hit me as I was cleaning boxes in the last couple of days. Like, huh, these guys really have a routine and a system. Um, so... Uh, cat. if your cat is not using the litter box for either poop or pee, maybe he wants a second box. Uh, senior cats who stop using the box really consider the fact that they might have arthritis. They'll go in there to pee. Senior cats will, uh, you know, they'll kind of go through the effort to pee, but crouching and straining to defecate requires a lot more strength in the haunches and so when we start getting these senior cats who are not pooping in their litter boxes very well a lot of times it's because they've got arthritis pain and that's one of the symptoms they give you i know it seems a little weird but that is a symptom of arthritis pain in a senior cat if they're pooping outside the box um, so you can either get a lower lipped box you can cut a hole at one end so they can enter and exit uh, over a lower lip um, <clears throat> You don't remember that when you had kitties both pooped and peed in the same box, maybe they needed therapy. Maybe mine need therapy. I don't know, but I've got barn cats and home cats that are both doing the same thing. So it's really interesting. Um, you know, when we had cats at the clinic, they didn't really have big choices, although I don't I didn't clean the boxes for our cats that lived at the clinic and they did have two boxes, so I don't know if they did both in the same box. But also consider the litter that you're using. Uh, Gwen uses this hard um, pelleted litter, which I absolutely hate. And I think it's from all the years of having declawed cats because they're tender and they don't like that hard pelleted litter and they won't use it. Um, we're using a grass litter. It's called Smart Cat. The bad news is it tracks everywhere. The good news is it's really soft. It clumps really well. It doesn't have odor. It doesn't have dust and the cats love it. So it's a uh, balancing act between finding 
um, the litter that your cat likes versus the litter that you like. Gwen likes the litter that she uses because it doesn't track as much. It's big. It doesn't stick to their feet. I like the litter I'm using because my cats tend to use it better and because they're not that trustworthy, I'm going to use what they like the best, even though it's a pain in the butt and we have to vacuum every day. So um, you're surprised the feral cats at your house will use a litter box. It is amazing. Um, our barn cats were strays. They're adult stray cats and, um, you know, doubt they ever had a litter box, but man, they took right to that. So, uh, they, yeah, I, it is, it is true. Renee said she'd ha rather have them, the outside residents use the box instead of her flowers. Um, and I will kind of agree that, um, cleaning that litter box a couple times a day is better than finding cat stuff on our hay, uh, or in the feed room or inside the barn. So, um, I'm trying to convince them that, you know, there's this huge 23 acre litter box out there that they could go out there and use that, but you know, it's okay. I don't mind cleaning the box. So it is amazing. We, the place where we used to buy our hay in New Jersey, we would show up and they had in their garage and the door was always open. They had this huge litter box that I don't think they ever cleaned. And it was just mounded up with cat poop and pee and all around it overflowing with cat poop and pee. And it's like, why would a cat even use that? That blah. So if you have litter boxes, even if they're outside, please clean them. <laughs> See, this person says, I love my automatic litter boxes. Delayed senses don't scoop until they leave, but they seem to poop in one box more than the other. The boxes are side by side. Yeah. Uh, so really, really interesting. So the Oko cat, I think that's what Gwen uses, but it's the big chunks. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't like it at all. I don't think my cats would use it. My cats are used to the really soft stuff. But <clears throat> for those of you who have cats, when you're buying litter, please don't buy the ones with all the perfumes in them, the ones that are clay that have a ton of dust. I mean, that stuff is just not good for them. So, okay, I got to get going. I see Hugh is either leaving without me or we're taking separate cars. I don't know. So let me see if I can get some music. For those of you who have kitties, post in there whether your guys use one box or two. Whether they, whether anybody else is noticing this or if it's just our weird cats, I don't know. But friend's cat was pooping in the bathroom sink, suggested she change the litter, and no issues. Yeah, they're very particular. They they totally are. And if you have declawed cats, they're going to be even more particular. I like Dr. Elsie's. I like Dr. Elsie's cat cat litter a lot. And he has a hypoallergenic one, and he has a long-haired cat one that doesn't stick to them. So, uh, look at Dr. Elsie's. It's good stuff. Okay, everybody have a wonderful day.